take Grease Fang. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Don't mind if I do, Hugh. Don't mind if I do. Stop it! Who do you think you are? Let's go! Rats and cats, baby! I like how we came back from a meat hook. That's exciting. They like it. Hello, good game. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. Thank you all so much for taking the time to support the channel. I hope you're having an absolute magical day. Kamigawa Neon Dynasty is here. Previously, we took a look at one of the most aggressive decks that I made, Rakdos Aggro. If you've not seen that, check out the pinned comment below. I will have that video linked. Today, I think we actually may have outdone ourselves. Uh, I expected this to be more of a combo deck, but the consistency, uh, the win rate on this is absolutely silly. I think we're in like the top 200 and some mythic with it. Uh, you know, not only maintaining our rank, but continuing to climb higher, which is really cool uh, against, you know, not only the best players, but the best decks in the world, which is very exciting for a day one release. Um, we're going to break down the deck list in the video, talk about the strategies, the synergies, showcase all of this within the gameplay footage, and then wrap up with our final thoughts, deck review, card of the day, and any general, uh, you know, housekeeping shenanigans that we have to get through. So make sure to like the video, show that support. It really does help. Subscribe to the channel, and maybe even most importantly, uh, share the channel to a friend. Hey, have you seen uh, Hello Good Game on YouTube? He's got a great YouTube channel that you should probably check out. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much. Let's take a look at the newest Kamigawa Neon Dynasty deck. All righty, Cats and Rats is an Abzan crew deck or an Abzan vehicle deck, and uh, it absolutely claps. Standard best of one, 3.1 average mana value with 8 creatures only and 28 non-creatures. We do have 24 land in the build. Uh, again, Abzan is the color combination of white, black, and green, if you're unfamiliar. And we are using vehicles as a, you know, a core mechanic here. Grease Fang, Okiba, Boss. I have no words for this card. It is fantastic. For 3 mana, it's a 4-3, which is, you know, it's alright. But at the beginning of combat on your turn, return target vehicle card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of your next end step. This is kind of goofy. The fact that you can free cast from your graveyard every single turn is silly. And then if we can combine that with something, you know, maybe that has an enter the battlefield effect, like Essica's Chariots. So this will be out on turn three and we're not even ramping, right? Cool beans. Uh, and it will be able to attack on turn three as well. Not even out in play to make the cats, but out making the cats and attacking to make another cat. You can see where this is going to end up. When it enters play, make two cats, and whenever it attacks, you can create a token of a uh, copy of a target token that you control. Crew for four, uh, which is fairly decent. And we have another ETB vehicle here with the Surge Hacker Mech for four, as well as a 5-5 five, five crew for four. It does have Menace, and when it enters the battlefield, it will deal damage equal to twice the number of vehicles you control to target artifact, uh, creature, or planeswalker than an opponent controls, right? So keeping uh, you know their creatures in check and also going directly for the Planeswalkers, which is super exciting, especially as we see so many new Planeswalkers entering standard. Finally, we have the Thundersteel Colossus for seven as a seven, seven with Trample and Haste, crew for two. I guess uh, seven Trample damage is all right on turn three. I, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> so, you know, with this out of the way, that's uh, kind of the top end of the deck and how we'll get there is uh, a turn two mulch, revealing the top four cards of our library at sorcery speed, putting all those land cards revealed this way into our hand, the rest into the graveyard, right? So through this, we can put the chariot, the mech, the colossus in the grave so we can pull them out with the Okiba boss. We also have teachings of the Kirin, mill three cards. When it enters, create a 1-1, one, one. decent mill, and you know, we can crew with that 1-1. One, one. Then we'll put a counter, uh, plus one, plus one, on a creature, and then finally we can exile and transform into Kirin Touched uh, Orochi. I don't even know. It's a 1 1 enchantment creature, Snake Monk, which, you know, need I say more? A Snake? I'm, I'm signed up. Whenever it attacks, choose one, exile target creature card from a graveyard when you do create a 1 1 colorless spirit creature token. Probably not going for this, however, we might if we need more things to crew with. However, we can also exile a non creature card from a graveyard if we do put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature we control. Don't think of what will help you more. It's common to do this. What will hinder your opponent more, right? Uh, make sure you're taking the appropriate card from their grave 
to uh, you know stop that access that they would have typically had to it. We also have the Soul Tripper. Uh, <laughs> the Soul Ripper. Uh, for two, it's a 4-3 crew for two. Artifact vehicle, and when it attacks, you may sacrifice another target artifact or creature. If you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and it will gain menace until the end of turn, which is cool because we'll be making cats through the chariot, and we can sacrifice those cats uh, for menace and plus one, plus one counters, which is pretty cool. And then finally, you know, certainly not least, is Born to Drive for three. Enchant creature or artifact, and as long as enchanted permanent is a creature, it gets plus one, plus one for each creature and or vehicle you control. Woof, right? So we're making a ton of cats. We've got things with menace. We've got things with trample. And this is really going to, you know, increase the damage output. Better than that, though, we can discard it at instant speed for three to create two 1-1 one, one pilots crewing for two power or greater. Similar to the hotshot mechanic for one, but this is a 2-1 rather than a 1-1. One, one. It's still crewing creatures as though its power were two or greater. Uh, sorry, greater, or two greater, um, you know, for four is what it means to say. So the mechanic can single-handedly crew the chariot. It can single-handedly crew the storm hacker, uh, which is fairly exciting. Um, you know, not to mention the, the soul ripper and the colossus are only crew too. So those don't matter so much. That is the deck. We have seat of the empire. You know, you can channel this, which is the discard four damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Decent. And then we have the abandoned mire, in which case we can discard it to bring uh, a creature, <clears throat> the boss back to our hand from the graveyard which is really exciting and then uh who endures to keep you know any artifacts enchantments or you know non-basic lands uh kind of in check of our opponents as well this is the deck you guys i hope you enjoy half as much as i have um really having a ton of fun within kamigawa and uh, yeah thanks for supporting the channel make sure to like comment subscribe share the channel to your friends your family your dog or cat at this point i do not care who just you know help get the word out <laughs> if you want to join us on twitch uh we are there you know most times oddly enough and uh you know just enjoy today's video and we'll be back to wrap up final thoughts deck review card of the day stuff like this going first and uh well, I mean, this could be a white source. This could be a black source. We're ripping into our mechs. It's definitely not a turn three chariot, but we can't combo out every single game. Um, and it's like a, a good enough hand that I think that we could keep it. Right? As far as getting there still, we'd need to top deck... Uh, Something to mill the chariot. We need to top deck the boss. Um, and I guess like a third land, right? So this is our white source here. Hot shot mechanic in Plize. The only thing is like we need to get to four, right? Well, I mean, that's... That's kind of lame, as we just played this as our white source. And we this would get us more land, right? Which we need. Hashtag LOL. Let's hit for two. Ripper in play. Uh, obviously, it has summoning sickness when it enters, so it's got to sit there for a bit. Rooster. Playing mono red, that's frightening. The green source. Do you think they slay it? I like the crew animation. I'll put the counter on, and we can kind of try to escape some of their damage. We'll mulch for the fourth land. We don't mill the chariot. And then the mechanic can come into play again. Surge Hacker is a go, and uh, that was a good game. Pew pew! Real six. I mean, I think they bricked. But, like, why wouldn't you want to play against these new cards in this new deck? Rooster, we could have had fun together. We'll find some fun, don't worry. Opponent goes first, three lands. Uh, it's not exactly what we need. We, maybe we mill another chariot. We de definitely... Oh! Okay, we're getting closer. 
Whew. So we're going to teach on turn two. We need a black source. That's kind of what this full pony show is missing. Oh, we mailed two black sources. Fantastic. <laughs> but we do get uh, the Thunderer Steel Colossus in the graveyard, which the mob boss can grab. We just need to top deck that swamp or black source. Untap black source, please, Arena. Don't disappoint us. It's day one. We need just like consistent luck. Maya, do you have top deck.exe running? She's not even here today. I hope she put it on before she left. Uh, secondary youthful Valkyrie, woof. For two down to 18. Did they not attack us? They chose not to. We don't get a black source. Carry it into the grave now. No attack skis. Now, this is kind of a, an awkward spot, right? Um, we're sitting dead in the water without a black source. Other than that, things have went well. Right? Just trying to make it work. Let's make it work, people! Oh, foretell. Interesting. That's frightening. So that's got to be the angel that brings things back. Thank the lord. We do transform, which is fantastic. Grab a, a black source here, I hope. We do get it. The mire is out. We may as well just play the Soul Ripper. No attacks and turn. So a little bit slow, but we are here. Right? We're, we're doing it. I'm worried about a Doomscar, but at the same time, aren't they just losing more value than us? Angels in general, I'm nervous about. I guess this is, I mean, basically an angel because it's a shapeshifter, right? And can we just, first off, can we give it up to uh, Adriana Dana for being in Mythic with this deck? Honestly, that is dedication. Effort two, down to 18. Exile and transform skis. Grease fang out. We crew the Grease Fang. Chariot or Colossus. I think we go Colossus. And then we crew it up. That's a decent hit. We can sacrifice to push up. Okay, okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. Typically, I'd like to get the chariot, uh, but we have one in hand, right? And I'm going to kill this youthful Valkyrie first. Pretty good damage. Uh, Colossus back to our hand. I just, uh, what if they play Righteous Valkyrie, right? So that's where we go in with the Colossus over the Chariot. Um, is it has trampled. They had defenders in this situation. Uh, so they could have killed the Chariot, right? Um, and then this way we get confirmed damage, takes them down from 27.
That's our second black source. And we have the chariot to bring back. We can also bring back the... the uh, well, that's not a V. Oh, uh, it is. Okay. And then when this mech enters, it's going to deal two damage to something, right? Equal to our vehicles. So we can kill the bloodline. Or I guess we could have killed the Valkyrie twice. Uh, yeah, it's twice. It, uh, we could have killed the, the Valkyrie. I'm a dingling, don't mind me. And we could have also crewed it there. Ah, oh, I'm making misplays now. No attacks. Oops. My bad. Uh, <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Um, but what we do have is removal every turn as we play this. Um, we can still do this. That was a massive misplay because this Valkyrie goes up here. Um, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. HGG doesn't ever misplay, you guys. Don't worry about it. Okay. Land takes us to seven. Oh, legendary land. Oops. Can I go in full control? What am I doing? What am I doing? I've lost all bearings of reality here. Let me kill this angel. And then we're going to bring back the chariot. We can just uh, cycle these chariots. Uh, and then we're going to crew the chariot with cats. And then do we just go all in because I suck at this game? And we'll just take what advantage we can get when we can get it. Ah, <laughs> uh, we played that land. Well, we, I guess we could have discarded it too. Let's push up our raid boss. Oh, oh, Kiba boss. Wow. Like, it just goes to show you how cool the deck is when you can misplay this bad. <laughs> my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. We get some damage in. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, but anyways, I mean, the grease fang with the chariot. Make sure these cat wheels are greased up. My bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Ah, uh, we have the chariot there, so... Let's crew these and one cat. Next. Rav with the chariot again from the grave. Make the kitties. It has haste. We crew it with the cats it just made. And we are... Oh, I should have cast this. Uh, we should have main phase this, my bad. That's our finishing spell. I don't think it matters. But we play this typically on something with Trample or uh, Menace. I don't, I just mean, you know, there's eight damage just with the four fours. Um, the four two ones here. Um, not worried. Not worried. My bad. Uh, luckily enough, we got uh, a pretty easy matchup here. But, you know, Making the decks in theory is one thing. Uh, playing them and mastering the play lines in real time is totally another. Um, but regardless, 274, let's go! Going first with a mulch and a, like, okay. This might be the one. This is really cool. It's like turn one mechanic, turn two mulch, grab a third land, which we need to be a black source. 
Oh, no, we need that chariot to remain on top so we can mill it. <laughs> right? Okay, we do get some, we get some goodies there. We get some goodies. I mean, not might not be perfect, but we get some goodies. And we've got the land. That's the most important thing. I'll try not to misplay here. And this is going to kill the Liberator. Yeah. Yeah. We can also accrue it here. Good game. Oh, man. That is how it's done. Woo! <laughs> yes. Get wrecked, Mono Green. We got new cards to play with today. Oh, man. Going first. Uh, I like the mulch. I like the teachings. We don't have a raid boss. Nor do we have the land to do any of this. So this is, might actually be a mulligan for me. Okay, we have the boss. I call it the raid boss, but the Okiba boss. We have mulch. We have the land. Let's roll. One of the mulches can go. Or the... the no, the, the, the Colossus goes. It's too expensive, you see? This is our white source, this is our black source. I mean, we'll see what we get here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get the Surge, we get the Ripper. Not too shabby. Oh, wow. And we get, you know, the go-ahead. Nothing for us to kill. But if they play anything, this is good to have in our hand. We can still immediately crew it. We can still hit for five. Not making cats! Oh, I'm so sad! So even when things go wrong, they still go, you know, it's relatively right. Borrow time on the, the Grease Fang, you dog. You dirty dog. Get those cats active. Not ideal, but... Okay, that's pretty good too, right? We've got ourselves a, a bit of a match here, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a blowout... yet. We just slay it. Add it up, baby. I guess they probably have a Doom Scar. I would assume. Another wedding announcement. Woof. That is a good card. Get over there. It's a nice hit. We're making tokens. We're keeping the field clean so they don't ever get the buffs. They don't ever get the draws. And they, you know, they're forced to block there, right? No lands. <laughs> uh oh. 
But all we've got, we've got creatures. We have artifact vehicles. All we need is something, like if they wipe, we need to play something that can crew. That's it. So we, we just need something to crew off the top. Well, that's not it. I'm gonna hold it in hand. Let's try to juke them out. We just need a non land to crew with. We should have kept that mechanic in hand. We should do that from now on. When we already have things to crew, keep that mechanic in hand. In case there is a field wipe, right? We have to be playing preempt preemptively. Okay, rip apart. Good card. We're gonna kill the Sturm Surge Hacker. The Sturm Hacker. Hit for two. They create a uh, one-one. Okay. This will have menace, so they will have to double block. But we only kill one. That might actually not be ideal. We don't necessarily need Menace. Let's just single trade it. Because we can't kill them both anyways. I think that might have been a misplay. But I don't want to lose the cat. We should have maybe kept the one cat. But no, then we couldn't have crewed to start this whole process again anyways. Katilda's great. That lifelink's going to save them. It's not good, man. Maybe 24 lands is too many. Uh, some single target could be good as well. We're flooding. I mean, with this four lands in a row. Uh, that's a good game. A great game. Electroseer, an amazing name as well. We're still top 300, though. And uh, maybe too many lads. All right, opponent goes first, but we do have those required cards, which is a... And we get a turn one. Okay, the plot thickens. Fairly decent. All we need is the black source through mulch, which is still, you know, asking a lot. Oh, ouch. Dahlia stops us in our tracks. Ooh, woof. Still a good card. Elite Spellbinder now into our hand. Luckily, we do have two bosses, but it's the land that we're struggling with. And of course, we flooded last game, so this game will brick. That makes sense, right? And even if we do find the land, now we're, you know, still fairly handicapped. We get it. Not the right color, though. I'll try to trade with the binder. Wow. So that even affects, like, the vehicles, right? As they're, they're not creatures, I guess, right? You wouldn't dare. Uh, 
Number 13. Let's channel some pilots into play. Oh, still no land. Dang. Thanks, Shuffler. We didn't take any lands out. We have just as many lands as we uh, started with, so. Sometimes you flood, sometimes you brick, sometimes it's just right. We had the hand. Thalia totally single-handedly stopped us. Uh, and then we bricked organically. And now they just have advantage value-wise. And I'm a little nervous. I mean, the Ollenbach should not be attacking. It has to take a token. It's a, it's a good trade. It's not bad. It's unpleasant for me. But, you know, we get it back. Thank you. There's nothing... Nothing there because they stopped the mulch. Still a little frustrated. No attacks. Need that. Fifth land, and then we can uh, take out that binder. Maybe even take out Thalia. It's gonna be hard to say. Probably the binder, though. All right, we have a blocker for Thalia now. Okay, okay. I like that card. Uh, with Arlen, they're three threes, which is pretty dudley. Paper three down to seven. It's not it. It's not it. Good game. Woof. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. We we're going to need a win here, though, for sure. We'd stop this streak. Going first, our land looks decent. And, you know, worst case scenario, we're curving into the mech. Black source, green source, white source. Maybe keeping the seat for removal. Hopefully we don't mill the boss. Oh. Dang it. Dang it, right on the top two. All right, this is still matched somehow. Ripper two. Ripper out. Chariots in play. I mean, it could be worse. It's still a good deck if you don't pop, but ah, it's so much more fun to pop off. Make our kitties. Screw it up. Stack the tap cat. Ooh. Get that extra damage in. Don't mind if I do, Hugh. Don't mind if I do. We have removal of enchantments and artifacts and lands that are non basic, uh, as well as four demijito. Okay, we're going to take a black source here. That's their main phase. Mana. Like, woof. You know what I mean? Woof! Oh, they needed a white source for, like, a Doomscar next turn, probably, right? But that means they needed a second white source, too. I think they could play another white source than Doomscars. I don't think they've played a land organically this turn. Trying to. It's all right. I mean, we have potentially 9, 10, 11 damage, so that should be fine, right? 
We can destroy this too if we need. We we'll give them a land though. We don't necessarily want to do that for them. That crew is fairly expensive. So if we crewed for two, we'd hit for five, six, seven, eight, nine. Potentially. Non featured card, which can be a land. I need to sacrifice the mech still. Down to one. Confinement circle. Interesting. Good game, we get it. Woo! That's a close one, folks. Top 300 still. I want to get this combo to pop one more time. Alright, not enough land here. We're going to toss it up. This is better, and there's some good things here. Let's toss Thorn to drive away. Or do we toss the chariot back? No, we keep the chariot because, like, I, I get that milling it would be better. Putting it back, there's, uh, like, it goes to the bottom is the thing, though, right? So we're not shuffling it in, so we wouldn't get it anyways. That's no buenos. Hopefully, you know, the mulch gives us some cool artifact vehicles. And then we're good to go. Mulch it up. One land. Oh, chariot into the grave. Yes. Okay. Okay. The plot thickens. The plot is thickening. Daily disputes on the Twitch. So they learn. Plus they draw two and get a, a treasure. It's a little bit of value, right? There's some things going on there. They grab a pest summoning. I'm a little worried about, uh, I guess, the Meat Hook Massacre. A white source out. Four mana up with the treasure. Soren. Woof. Woof. Minus two for Flyer. Get that blocker, boy. It's the black source. Grease Fang out. Let's take the Chariot. Chariot makes the cats. We tap the Grease Fang. We swing on Soren. We make a token of a kitty. Rats and cats, baby! Let's go! Turn three Chariot? How can you complain? How can you complain? Unless they have a meat hook. And then I'm a little bit sad about what we're doing for them. Do we have anything else? Oh, we still have the Surge Hacker. This is deadly. This is deadly. So we can deal four... We can play the Chariot. Surge Hacker comes out, deals four damage to something. Land and tapped, which is good news for us. Wedding announcement. Uh, that's not great news. That's a good card. Do they swing for two? No. Carry it out. Make more cats. Go to combat. 
Surge Hacker in play. Hit the Vampire for four. Crew it with the cats because it has haste. And we are a bad, bad boy. <laughs> Let's go. This is just fun. Okay, okay, okay. And then we get the Surge Hacker back, right? So we can uh, deal another four damage to something if the Chariot remains in play. I'm just worried about a Beat Hook, right? If they play a land, Meat Hook for three, it's very sad. Very sad. <sighs> we were having fun. We were having fun. You jerk. Cat out. Keep the new one, or the old one, sorry. Crew him up. Swing over. Make another kitty. A freaking meat hook, man. Saved him. Absolutely saved him. They'll need another wipe here, though, right? They'll definitely need another wipe. They have 15 life, though. They gained so much life. Loath. Ugh, gross. So good. Do we just kill Loth? It seems easiest. And what do we kill? Do we kill the wedding or the hook? Probably the hook. Probably the hook. I mean, I think they're both viable options, but... They grab a land. They still need to double block. We're doing all right, you know, I think we're still prone to some terrible removal, but. Kills everything without the hook and play. I'm nervous. Another loaf. Oh, man. Have we seen any new cards here? They're going to kill the Surge Hacker. Okay. They did sack a token for that, I guess, eh? It'll block and we can kill it. But then they're going to have these, right? So it's, uh, it's... We're not winning this match yet.
Get for four still. And we have the mech available, but for seven, they can play the two one ones, sack one, gain a life, exile the surge hacker. But then take six damage. Uh, actually, no, because they'd block. That'd be five. Uh, sorry, four. And they'd gain one, so it would really only be three. Plus, they'd gain another life through that sacrifice, which would really only, I guess, be two. But we're, we're progressing forward, right? So as long as we don't top deck too many lands, maybe we get through it. War of the top deck. Oh, no, they looked at their grave. I'll allow it. Take Grease Fang. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Don't mind if I do, Hugh. Don't mind if I do. Stop it! Who do you think you are? Let's go! Rats and cats, baby! I like how we came back from a meat hook. That's exciting. They like it too. They like it. The surge hacker does have menace if they're looking to block that. So they would have to triple block to kill it. Woof. This is almost too much fun. You know what I mean? So they're going to find maybe Exile with the Twitch. It's hard to say. Big hit down to four. They gain life up to six and they learn. And we get to replay the Chariot. And what else are we bringing back? Uh, we could bring back the Soul Ripper. I love Born to Drive. Such a good card. Oh, well. Oh, we're at word pass. Dang it. Shoot. <laughs> oh well. It's fine. It's fine. One that's not attacking. And then when they declare blockers, we bash one. One of the ones with the menace. Did we just beat a meat hook deck? Did we just beat a meat hook deck? B E A beautiful. Nice. And not even a, a meat deck hook. A top 1,000 meat hook deck. Now that is rewarding. We had the combo pop twice in one match. Ah. Let's break the deck down. Holy Toledo's. Grease Fang is OP. Chariot was already busted. Turn 3 Chariot with haste. Do you get to replay on the following turn for more cats? Oh my lord, oh my lord, oh my lord, oh my lord. Please do not ban these cards. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with them. How can we improve the deck? Maybe protection. You know, it might be... Um, ba -da -da -ba -da -ba, Tameo's safekeeping is a new protection. I think that would be better than snakeskin because they could be in vehicle form. Uh, also better than wild shape. That's kind of what I have to add to the conversation. I would love to know what you guys, the viewer, think in the comments below. How can we spruce up the deck and make it even better? And now let's get in to card of the day. Yay. All right, so let's see if we can uh, get this focused. This is the Thieving Skydiver. I don't even know what this card does. I just know it's good in the set. Thanks to the art, 
It is uh this is a two one with flying creature Mirfolk Rogue kicker for X. X can't be zero. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, gain control of target artifact with converted mana cost X or less. If that artifact is an equipment, attach it to the thieving skydiver. So let's just talk about how we have all of these artifact equipment creatures in the meta and how the thieving skydiver is going to be the bee's knees, right? So you can like take their creature if it's an equipment, boom, you know, take lizard blades. Now I have double strike, stuff like that. Super exciting. If you want to check out these cool protection products, that's a Titan shield available in the link tree if you want a 15% off as well, which is pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed cats and rats and you're enjoying Kamigawa in general. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, share it to your friends, your families, your cats, your, your cats and your rats, right? Everybody wants to watch this. Don't, don't, don't exclude anyone. <laughs> Most importantly, have a magical day, you guys, and we'll see you soon in the next.